Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas and today I'm going to show you an awesome tutorial on how to do a freeze time effect using your camera and editing in Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get it! Now in order to achieve this effect, what we're going to need is we're going to need a tripod. You're going to want to set up your tripod like I do right now. I have my camera. I'm using the GH5 on top of that. And I would highly recommend filming 60 frames per second, especially during the action shot. As you can see in the preview, the action shot that's going to be in there. Because when we freeze it, if you want a clean looking image, well, that's what we're going to have to do. And also, you're going to need a remote or something of that sort. Because when we go here, that's when we're going to hit the button and look at the camera. So let's break it down right now. Okay, okay, so we are in the Final Cut editing suite. Now I filmed all my scenes at 60 frames, so I made a new project and it's under 24 frames. And we're gonna insert our clips. So I have my clips here that I shot. I didn't color grade it, I'll do that probably at the end. But here's the first clip I shot where I'm just standing outside. And then the second clip we're gonna put on top. And this is the one where we're actually, I was, I was getting down James Brown, you feel me? And we're gonna wanna extend it out so they're even, okay? So you have the first clip, first clip on the bottom where you're standing outside the doorway. Second clip, you're inside the room in this case. We select our top clip and we're gonna hit V, okay? And we're gonna scrub through until I get the remote and I turn and I hit, I click. You can see I click the pause button. All right, so we're gonna click that and I'm gonna use M to make a marker. Okay, so this is where I want to freeze at. Let me play this, brush through and I jumped about right there. So I wanna capture that. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna select it we're gonna come up top to this timing button right here and we're gonna go hold now when we hold you're gonna see this red thing and we're gonna want we're gonna extend that thing all the way out because we don't care about nothing else I'm gonna hit the blade tool chop that out see ya so then it stops right there this is why it's so essential for you guys to have a tripod so nothing changes and if you're using outside, if you're trying to do this effect outside, you better be quick because, you know, natural lighting changes. I'm in a controlled environment where none of the lighting change whatsoever. So keep that in mind too. All right, next step, after we have it held, and if you hit V here, after we have it held, we're gonna come over to mask, draw mask. We're gonna slide that draw mask on the, our top clip, and we're gonna have the pointers here. We wanna do, click to add control point. Now we're gonna draw a mask around this door frame right here. All right, so let's start there, boom. Hit that point, come over here, bring it up top, boom. And as you can see, we drew our mask. Easy peasy. And that my friends is how you freeze time using Final Cut Pro 10. Add this effect to whatever you guys want. Spice up your vlogs, spice up your videos. Get crafty, have fun while being the best. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and smash that like button for me right now. And if you wanna see more tutorials like this in the future, as well as vlogs, unboxings, reviews, and video business strategies, hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.